Welcome to this book-by-book -book journey through the Old Testament, where we make present-day spiritual application to exciting Old Testament stories that will challenge you to believe and receive all that God has for you today through the finished work of Jesus. Strong and very courageous Christians are people who are full of faith. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. You got to put the word in your heart so that out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will begin to speak. And that's what this next verse talks about. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything that's written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. That word meditate, it's a powerful concept, and it's not talking about some Eastern religion where you sit and you look at your belly button and say one word. Mm. That's not what it's talking about. It's saying take the word of God, put it before your eyes, ruminate on it like a cow ruminates on its cud, pull it up, chew it again, swallow it again, chew it again. Process it. Imagine it. When you see the Word of God, don't just read words. See pictures. Think about it. Put yourself in that picture. Just imagine that Word becoming a reality in your own life. Put it in your heart so that out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. When our heart is filled with the Word of God and we meditate on it, beloved, the Bible says that our, our life and death is in our tongue. In Job it says, decree a thing and it will be established. Our tongue, beloved, is the prophetic mechanism. Now this is powerful. Our tongue is the prophetic mechanism for releasing the power of God in our life. You and I have been given the power, and I would even say the responsibility, to prophesy the Word of God into the sick situations and the circumstances of our life. We have the right and the ability to speak to that thing, to curse it, to command it to die, to sever it at the roots. I speak crop failure on everything that the enemy has planted in my life. And I speak life to every good and perfect thing and gift that God has put inside of me. In his word, I declare that his word is like seeds in my heart. And it is growing and it's bringing forth fruits of righteousness for the glory of God. We have the ability to speak those things. Not on my watch. You can't have it. We can speak those things and stand. And having done all to stand, we stand there for. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Because it's a lamp to our feet. It's a light to our path. 